So, you ordered something from Amazon, and when the box gets to you, you open the box, and you find inside the box another box. That happens, but then you open the second box, and you find a third box. And you open the third box, and you find a fourth box. That's strange. And you open that box, and you find another box, and before long you realize that you can keep opening boxes forever. That's very strange. The universe is messed up. What's going on? There's no bottom to this opening of boxes. And where's the content? There's no actual content. Hmm, that's strange. Let's find out the second axiom of math and what Amazon boxes have to do with it. Stick around. Two possibilities. Mm -hmm. Two to the power of zero is equal to one. Yes. That could be an axiom, something really true because it is just true mm -hmm. and doesn't need a proof. Or a luggage cannot have itself inside itself. Uh, so which one is the axiom? That's logic, yeah? Yes, that's... I think that's... I think A, yeah. I think A too. Ah, okay. Yeah. So who, who votes for A? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't know. I thought B. <laughs> uh, who who votes for B? I would go for you B. You win. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine you have a backpack and when you open it, you find inside it the very same backpack. Not a similar one, not an identical one, not just the same color, brand and model. No, the very object. You open your backpack and you find inside the very same backpack, your backpack. And you open it again and you find another copy or just it. You find the very backpack inside itself. So you open it and then you open again, and you find the backpack again, and you keep on going. If this happened, you would think that there's a glitch in the universe. This is what Axiom 2 of math says. Let's talk about Axiom 2. I would say B. I would say, say A. Okay. okay, let's do that. Okay, <laughs> okay. So you say A, because perhaps you remember something from school, no? Yeah, yeah. I remember Some, something. Something about zero. 2 to the power of 0. Yeah. Yeah. And you say B because... Yeah, we, we take that. <laughs> right. Because it's more visual, more fun, or because it's about your bag. Yeah, yeah. I think it's more visual, yeah. Yeah, and it's actually B. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine now a snake that starts eating itself. He starts eating his tail, and then he eats his body, and then he starts eating his neck, and then he, star he starts eating his head, and he starts eating his eyes, and then the mouth starts eating the very mouth. And then the snake eats all itself, and it disappears. But then you realize that this cannot happen, because if all the parts of the snake must be inside the snake, then the outer shell, which is also part of the snake, must be inside itself. The outer shell must be inside of the snake, because it is part of the snake, and therefore there's something strange going on. So, if this happened, just like in the case of the backpack, then you would think that there's a glitch in the universe, that you're living in a simulation, that you're living in a matrix, or there's some magic going on, there's no other possibility. Which one do you think it's an axiom in math? 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1, this one. or a snake cannot eat itself all alone. A snake cannot have itself inside its belly, so to speak. I would say A. Oh no, it's A. Okay, we're not saying which one is true, we're saying which one it's we don't... We're, 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 it's an axiom, we, which one we don't prove. But this one you have to prove it. You think so? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yes, 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 yes. I have yes. to like uh, recall my <laughs> old... Mathematics. It's okay. I guess it's... I would say B because it's like, like maybe it sounds like a trap, like because this is like more like this, math yeah, vibes. this looks more math exactly. Yeah. So you're like, oh, okay, that must be there, but maybe the like concept of axiom is more like this concept. Yeah, and you're yeah, absolutely right. <laughs> and we can make lots and lots of examples like these two hands drawing each other in the famous drawing by the famous Dutch engraver Escher. So, yes, the second axiom of math, the second truth that math takes for granted, is actually quite profound. 
and it says in its simplest form that a luggage cannot have itself inside itself, or in mathematical terms, a set cannot be an element of itself. 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1, or a snake cannot eat itself. Which one is an axiom in math? Or which one resembles an axiom in math? I see the right one, I believe the right one is the A. And this one is... This one I says, believe it's a, a snake cannot eat itself all alone. I believe it's how to symbol infinity. Yeah, that's Q, also yeah, the symbol of infinity, that's yeah. true. Yeah. And symbol with the snake to eat, your, eat itself. Yeah, exactly, that's true. Yeah. But I don't know who exactly... So you're going with A. I go with A. And actually, A is something that needs a proof, yeah, okay. while this one yeah. resembles a real axiom of math that says that uh, a set cannot have itself inside itself. So let's try to be more clear here, because we are at a crucial point. A set is a container with some elements. And if we have a set X, then X cannot be one of the elements of X. So imagine a set X that has X inside itself. If I zoom in, I will find X inside X. And if I zoom in again, I will find X inside X inside X. And I can keep on going like this forever, so there's no foundation, there's not a base, there's not a starting point. And that's what we don't want. Do you know what's an axiom? No, I don't know. Okay, so an axiom is something that doesn't need a proof. Some, something okay. so simple, so basic, so fundamental, that doesn't need a proof. Okay. So the real question is, which one do you think is an axiom of math? A true axiom of math? 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1, or a snake cannot eat itself. That one. Which one? The snake. This one. Yeah. This one is an axiom. Yeah. But why? I don't know. Just because. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's yeah, not... Yeah, it's okay, it's no. okay. And it's actually true. And more generally, the second axiom says that infinite, descending, membership, chains are forbidden. This means that you cannot have a set A1 that has an element A2, that has an element A3, that has an element A4, and so on forever. So any descending membership chain of sets where each element belongs is an element of the previous element must be finite. And we will later prove that the last element of any such chain must always be the empty set. 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1, or a snake cannot eat itself. Which one is an axiom in math? Something that we don't prove. I think, uh, I think maybe this one. Maybe this one? Yes. And you're absolutely right. So let's state the second axiom formally. There does not exist a sequence of sets A1, A2, A3, A4, etc. such that A1 has A2 as an element, A2 has A3 as an element, A3 has A4 as an element, and A4 has A5 as an element, and so on forever. This cannot happen. This is the second axiom of math. So which one do you think we take it for granted without a proof? 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1, or a luggage, a bag, you cannot open it and find itself inside itself. So for example, I cannot, I, you cannot open your... No, just the same bag. Oh, okay. Just the same so identical bag. I guess the, the... I'm not saying which one is true, they're both true. Okay. Oh. I'm oh, saying which one doesn't need a proof. I say... A, the first one. Yeah, no, I feel like it's, it might be both. <laughs> I think it's No, there's, a. there's only one, actually. Oh, okay, then, then, then I'll go, oh, yeah, A. You're a. going with A, so uh, I, I misled you, because it's B. Oh. This one is a theorem that needs a proof. You can mm. do a series of logical steps to prove it, mm. while this one is so basic, so true, that we take it for granted. This is a real axiom of math. A bag cannot have itself inside itself. First axiom of math that we've seen last time is called axiom of extensionality, because it talks about the extension of a set, the element it has. The second axiom of math is called the axiom of foundation, because it gives some foundation to the belongings, to the elements of a set. 
is like a castle that cannot rest upon itself, and likewise a set cannot be an element of itself. In the next video we're gonna talk about axioms, but also about some famous paradoxes of math. So click here, no here, yeah, see you.